fact. Chainsaws are rad. Fact. The saw is the only weapon in Payday 2 equipable in both the primary and secondary slots. Therefore, by using science, we can deduce that double saws is the coolest loadout in the game. I have mastered the art of this saw over the course of about a year. While you were running dodge builds, I was studying the blade. But how does one reach my level of saw expertise? Well, I'm about to reveal all my secrets. With this simple step-by-step -step guide, you'll become a saw god like yours truly. Step 1. Aesthetic. If you want to use this saw, you better look the part. Choose a nice colorful suit and a vibrant mask to represent your undying love for all things sharp and circular. That ought to do it. Step 2. Build. Now like all the best things in life, mastering the oversized pizza cutter isn't free. So if you don't own the Sydney character pack, sorry. <laughs> As for the skills under the mastermind tree, we are going to be getting absolutely nothing. No Inspire Med Bags. It's a small price to pay for salvation. You're insane. Now the Enforcer tree is where things get spicy. Under the Shotgunner tree, we're going to ace Underdog for that damage reduction. Then move our way up the tree, acing Shotgun Impact and close by. Not for the Shotgun skills, as our prize lies at the top of this tree. Now get Overkill Basic, as this grants us a 75% damage increase on our saws for 20 seconds just for getting a single kill with it. Now under the tank tree, I'm gonna be picking up Resilience Basic, Transporter Basic, although you can get Die Hard instead if you want, and I'm acing Shock and Awe and Bullseye. Next is Iron Man for maximum tankiness. Now under the Ammo Specialist tree, I'm picking up Scavenger Basic and acing Portable Saw and Saw Massacre. In fact, I'm probably the first person since the Neolithic era to use the Saw Massacre skill. I'm also acing extra lead because by bringing ammo bags, we'll at least be doing one thing that benefits the team. And finally, I'm getting fully loaded basic for some more of that juicy ammo. We'll also be skipping the technician tree, and the only skills we need from the ghost tree are ducking cover and parkour basic. Now for the fugitive tree. We'll be acing nine lives and getting basic brawler, acing both bloodthirst and pumping iron, getting Basic Berserker for that juicy up to 250 saw damage boost, and finally acing Frenzy for the damage reduction and bonus to Berserk. Now you'll want to use Anarchist for your perk deck. I've tried others in my research, but Anarchist is the only one that works. Step 3. Make the saw. A saw main is only as good as their saw, so I'll show you how to make the most optimized saw there is. The first step is adding a snazzy skin to intimidate your enemies into death. Please note that skins do not in fact intimidate your enemies to death and are merely cosmetic. Any incidents caused by the saw with the skin are merely coincidental. Then we'll add a team boost because this is going to be our second useful contribution to our team. Then the fast motor for extra damage and the durable blade. Now the what, you may be saying. If the point of the double saw is to saw your enemies to death, then why aren't you using the sharp blade that does more damage to enemies? Now thank you annoying straw man archetype, but quite frankly, you're a stupid head. The sharp blade runs out just too quickly and leaves you an empty soulless husk of your former self. Now for your melee weapon, you're gonna want to choose something that really packs a punch. Now what's that before my very eyes? Could it be? Triple triple oh, and use the throwing knives. I'll elaborate in like two minutes. Step four. Killing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It works, trust me.
Chest bra. <laughs> Alright, now that you've finally made it into a lobby without getting kicked and you're in a game, it's time to put that saw to good work. Now the saws have a very unique playstyle that many of you may not be used to, so allow me to explain how to use the saw against enemies effectively. Walk up and saw them in the face. Medics. Walk up and saw them in the face. Tasers. Walk up and saw them in the face. Cloaker. Walk up and saw them in the face. Dozer. Walk up and saw them in the snipers. Cry. 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 Okay, I'm done memeing. Now, it's time to discuss the details. The first step to using the saw is to tap fire. That probably seems counterintuitive considering you're wielding a chainsaw, but this thing runs out of ammo way too quickly to go all out. With maximum berserk and the saw skills we got before, it takes on average one tap to kill a light cop on Death Witch and below, and two taps for heavy units on Death Witch below. The only enemy you really want to go all out on is Dozers. Speaking of Dozers, the saw actually does bonus damage against them. Except minigun Dozers and Death Sentence Dozers, which I honestly think the devs forgot to program in. Oops. So feel free to go ham on their faceplates. Sometimes the saw just doesn't cut it though, so that's why you're bringing throwing knives because they serve as your only ranged option. And isn't a knife just a non-mechanical chainsaw? The throwing knives are especially good for taking out cloakers and tasers, who are your biggest threats when running double saw, since getting within melee range of a cloaker is just begging to get smacked, and when tased, you are essentially a standing slab of meat waiting to be pumped full of red hot lead. Okay, that line, that line was to it, I'm taking it out, it's not going in. The saw can actually be pretty good at crowd control, if crowd control isn't so much as killing the crowd as it is causing them to shit bricks in your unholy presence. This is because the saw massacre skill causes panic in nearby cops when you get to kill with it, freezing them in place lining them for easy saw kills. And the saw's high threat level means enemies are much more likely to dive out of the way, setting you up for easy sawing. If you ever get caught with your pants down, you can use your third secret saw to take out your enemies because it already deals a healthy amount of damage and multiplies every time you get a kill with the saw. Another thing of note is that enemies aren't the only things this saw does bonus damage against. All the damage multipliers also applies to deposit boxes, doors, ATMs, and whatever else the saw works on. This means double saw is the ultimate door opening meta. Step 5. Regret. Now that you've spent some time getting used to the double saw, You've probably gotten to know how much it kind of sucks. One thing you quickly notice is how much of the screen the saw takes up. Like this handlebar that you don't even grab onto is so large and it takes up like half the screen. And to do any damage you have to get up close and personal with your enemies, which is typically not a good idea, especially on death sentence or even with all your armor. You only got one or two shots before you're down. One of the biggest problems with double saw is that there's no tactical reload. You reload when the saw wants you to. So sometimes you're left with like 18 ammo and a dozer gets up in your face and you have no other choice than to run or spam throwing knives and hope he dies first. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain. I made the memeiest loadout death wish viable, but I wish there was a way to take the aggressive saw playstyle up to death sentence. So I made one. Alright, I'm not going to delve into the fine details on this build, because it shares a lot of the similarities with the last one, but the big difference here is that we're ditching one of the saws to create one super saw. With these following skills, you have a crit zerker setup, which adds up quickly with the overkill skill. Let's see here, uh, 27.5 times 250% plus 75% plus 100% is... A lot of damage, please don't make me do the math. Our primary is going to be the saw with the fast motor, durable blade, and a concealment boost. And our secondary is going to be the judge shotgun with the bigger the better suppressor, compact laser module, or other gadget of your choice, and a concealment boost. 
Feel free to mix and match what you want on the judge, as long as you get it under 23 concealment for maximum crits. And while this build isn't quite the double saw, the judge provides you with a powerful range tool that gives you the edge you need to survive on one down. Especially when it comes to dozers, which I briefly mentioned this saw is pretty incapable of killing on death sentence. With crits, this saw becomes a pretty reliable killing machine, especially on shields, which you make a total joke of. And the saw is still providing that utility while having another weapon to fall back on. Overall, it's a pretty darn solid build, and I'm not lying when I say it's incredibly fun to use. It's actually my go-to for death sentence now. Try it. Now. Boy, that sure was stupid. <coughs> <coughs>